So uh, yeah, we uh, we took a, took a butt whooping to the uh, Kansas City Royals at home, three straight. So we're coming into this series against the Indians down three games against no wins. So uh, got Geo going today. Um, hopefully he can stop our losing streak and get us back on the right track. Um, uh, obviously, we lost uh, Dylan Cease in the Kansas City series. Uh, we still don't have a, an, a, a definite time frame for when we expect Cease back. So I will work on his replacement. Um, you guys will obviously know when you see it. But uh, today we got Geo going. We're pretty confident in him. Uh, we brought him in here for a reason, and uh, no reason to expect that he can't uh, stop this losing streak and get us back on the right track. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm here again with another game, the Chicago White Sox. Today they come in to Cleveland to play the Indians. And they have an 0-3 record on the year as they lost three straight to the Kansas City Royals at home in U.S. Cellular Field. So they are 0-3 right now. And uh, so they're looking to rebound. They need a big win. And uh, let's go down the uh, today on the mound for the White Sox will be Gio Gonzalez. And he will be faced by Zach Playsack of the Indians. Let's go down Bob Zolke's lineup for today. Leading off, playing shortstop is going to be Tim Anderson. Batting second and playing third base is going to be Johan Moncada. Batting third and playing first base will be Jose Abreu. Batting in the cleanup spot, you got the left fielder, Eloy Jimenez. The DH, Edwin Encarnacion will bat fifth. Yes, Monty Grandal will bat sixth and be the catcher today. Batting seventh will be Lewis Robert in center field. Batting eighth is Nomar Mazzara in right. And batting ninth will be Danny Mendick at second base. And for the uh, Indians today, you've got uh, Delino De Shields leading off and playing center field. Um, Naylor. The DH batting second. Jose Ramirez playing third base and batting third. Uh, Fran Mil Reyes batting in the cleanup spot and the left fielder today. Batting fifth is Carlos Santana, the first baseman. Batting sixth is Francisco Lindor at shortstop. Batting seventh is Hernandez, the second baseman. In the eighth spot, you've got Roberto Perez, the uh, catcher. And in the ninth spot, you got Tyler Naquin, the right fielder today. So, with everything having been said, let's get on with the game. We will let the National Anthem play.
let's get this underway with Tim Anderson leading off against Zach Blazak. And he is going to fly out to Naquin, one down in the first. White Sox, as I said, coming into this game 0-3 on the year. Only one of the games against Kansas City was even really remotely close, and that was the middle game. Johan Moncada is up. And he is going to hit the ball. It looks like over to Shields' head, and it might be. He's got at least a double, and he's running. He looks like maybe a triple. Triple for Moncada as he slides in under the tag. So we've got uh, Jose Abreu up. And hey, Jose Abreu rips a single, and the White Sox might just start to get off the schneid with this one. Abreu at first base, one down, Jimenez up. He hits the ball at second, but that's Hernandez. He's a slick fielder. And they do get a double play on that. So Gio goes out to the mound with a 1-0 lead, pitching to the Shields, and the Shields hits that ball right up the middle for a single. And they get up and throw the ball for to second to get to Shields, and they nail him. Trying to steal second, so now there's one down with Naylor up. And he's going to hit a fly ball to Lewis Robert. There's two down. And Gonzalez was loving that effort by uh, um, Grandall to get that runner at second. That put a nice spin on that inning. And so now the... Uh, uh, Indians are out of the inning, and Zach Playsack's back out to the mound. The White Sox are sending Encarnacion up to bat against him, and he strikes out. Grandall is up. And he's out, and Lewis Robert comes up with two down and nobody on. And he strikes out. So Zach Playsack gets out of this inning. A lot more efficient and a lot better result for him than in the first. And now Gio Gonzalez goes back out to the mound for the White Sox. And the first batter is Reyes. And he hits a deep fly to Mazzara for the first out. Carlos Santana's up. And he strikes out. Gio getting him. And that brings up Lindor, the shortstop. And he's going to hit a fly ball to right. Mazzara is under the ball and makes the play. So Zach Playsack back out to the mound. Down one nothing, and facing Mazzara. And he strikes out. That brings up Danny Mendick. And Mendick is striking out. And so now all of a sudden, Playsack is unhittable after that first inning, that rocky first inning that he had. And Anderson is up, and Anderson pops out. So Gio back out to the mound, and Hernandez up, and he's walking. Roberto Perez is up. Then Roberto Perez is going to hit the ball over Robert's head and back to the wall. And that's a double. Runners are at second and third with no outs. Naquin up. And Naquin is going to rip a single right up the middle. That scores a run and DeShields is up with runners at the corners. And he strikes out the shield. So they got one down. They're looking for a double play now. They really need the pitcher's best friend to double play. With Naylor up and he does not get it. He gets, in fact, a single and knocks in at least one run. They're going to throw for the runner. And they do get him. So there is two outs. And the uh, Indians now are ahead 2-1 to one with Ramirez up at the plate. The man at second. And he strikes out. So, a little damage done there by the Indians, and they take the lead. Two to one, we go to the top of the fourth. Mancata up, and he strikes out. Abreu is up, and he's going to swing away. 
and he is going to hit the ball deep, Naquin back on it, and that's out of here. Oh, no, that one wasn't out. Now Reyes is back on it. That was a foul ball, that first one, and now Reyes is back on this one, and it is gone. So the White Sox do manage to tie the game at two apiece. One out. And that brings up uh, Abreu. He's out. And up steps in Canarcion. And then Canarcion hits the ball deep, and Reyes is back again on this one. And that is gone. Bye-bye, baby. And now the White Sox have a 3-2 lead with Grandall up at the plate, and Playsack is getting his butt handed to him now all of a sudden by this White Sox lineup, which has all of a sudden decided they wanted to start hitting. They didn't want to do that in the Kansas City series, though. So, Fran Miel Reyes is up, and he strikes out. Seems like the White Sox are getting the breaks in this game at the start of this series that the uh, that they were that the Royals were getting in the Royals series. But uh, Santana hits a double. He's at second with one down and Lindor up, and that's a ground ball to short. And that's going to be he's safe. So uh, Hernandez is up at the plate. They're going to throw for the runner. And he's safe. And now Hernandez up. And he strikes out. That was the worst thing he could possibly have done right there with runners at second and third. And now Roberto Perez up. But Roberto Perez is going to hit this ball deep. And that's going to be a double that's going to score two runs. Hits off the wall and Naquin up. And he lines out. So the Indians took the lead again, and now they're ahead 4-3, and Roberts is up. Hits a ground ball to short. That's Lindor. He's going to make that play. You know that. Mazar is up. He strikes out. And up steps Mendick. And he walks. Tim Anderson's up at the plate. He hits a ground ball to second base. And uh, Hernandez is a real slick fielder, but he can't make the play. And so now there's two on with two out. But Moncada flies out. So we're going to go to the top of the... Uh, we're going to go to the uh, bottom of the fifth. Gio's still out there on the mound for right now, anyway. He strikes out to Shields. The Shields has had a really tough day striking out twice against Gio. Naylor is up, and he flies. He's going to hit a fly to Mazzara. Two down, and Ramirez at the plate, and he strikes out. So Gio's gotten him through five. They're in a close game. The Sox only losing 4-3. We go to the top of the sixth. Jose Abreu up. He hits a ground ball to Santana. That's going to be one down. I know it's a 162-game season, but you really got to believe the, the Sox need to win this game. Jose uh, or, um, Eloy Jimenez is up. He's going to hit a line out. With two down, Encarnacion up at the plate. And he hits a ground ball to short. The sure fielding Lindor is there. And that is an out. Geo back out to the mound. And he gets Fran Mil Reyes. Well, that's a foul ball right there.
He gets Fran Miel Reyes to ground out to shortstop. Santana up at the plate. Santana is going to hit this ball deep. Roberts is back on it. Let's see if he got it out. Looks like he probably did. And he did. And so now the Indians have a 5-3 lead. And Francisco Lindor follows that up with a short, a ground to short. And Carlos Hernandez is up. And he is going to hit the ball to Abreu for the out. So through six, the White Sox are losing 5-3. And they're going to bring up Yasmani Grandal to face play sack. And he's going to hit a ground out to second. Lewis Robert is up. And what have we got there? And that's a foul ball. And that's going to be a ground out. And Mazar is up at the plate. And he strikes out. So the White Sox get nothing there. We go to the seventh inning stretch. So, Roberto Perez out there to face Gio. Gio is still going. Kind of surprised to still see him out there, but he does get a ground out to Moncada. Naquin is up. And you got to believe that, uh, really, Gio has to give him the innings because in the Kansas City series, the White Sox bullpen was just simply dogged. And Delino to Shields up with two down, and he strikes out. So, Gio... Geo's kept him in it. He hasn't pitched great. He hasn't been that sharp, but he has kept him in the game. And now the, the uh, Indians bring in Brad Hand. So maybe they can break through here. We'll have to see Mendick up at the plate. And he is going to hit a ground ball to short. Lindor makes the play. One away. Anderson up. Anderson ripping a nice hit over to Shields' head. Got to go back to the wall. Off the wall, and it's a double. Moncada up at the plate, and Moncada is going to hit the ball in the air, but it's not going to get enough distance. It's a fly ball. That brings up Abreu. And Abreu is going to ground out. So the White Sox can't get anything there despite threatening a little bit. And Zalke's going to the bullpen. He brings in Evan Marshall to pitch to Josh Naylor. And Naylor hits a ground out to uh, Anderson at short. Jose Reyes is up. He walks Reyes, loses him. So now he goes to first base and um, Fran Mil Reyes is up. They're going to throw for the runner. And did they get him? Yes, they did. They nail him, and that's the second guy that Grandall has thrown out this game. And Reyes is going to ground out, and the Indians are out of the uh, inning in the eighth. So now here we go to the ninth inning. The Chicago White Sox have to have two right here. And Jimenez is going to lead him out. And he hits a ground ball to the second baseman, Hernandez, and that's one down. Edwin Encarnacion, not a great on-base guy, but he could has the power to hit it out of the park, but he strikes out. And that brings up Grandall. And Grandall is going to hit a fly ball out to Naquin, and that's it, and the game is over. The White Sox lose their fourth straight game. We'll go look at the box score. 
Be sure to stay tuned for uh, manager Bob Zolke's post-game show or post-game interview, But uh, and I'm sure he's going to be quite upset. Um, he's usually he been salty the last three games. You know that's going to be even worse now. But, uh, yeah, the White Sox dropping another one, four straight, and they are now 0-4 on the year. And with that, let's go to the post-game show. All right, taking your questions, again, had to write them out, send them to me, because we're in the time of COVID. How do you think Geo pitched today? You know, I, I don't think I want to pin this one totally on Geo. I mean, he did give up a key home run there, and uh, but uh, really, he kept us in the game the entire time. What do you think the issue is with the team right now? Well, I mean, the issue is we're just not coming together. It's, you know, we had the one game, the middle game against Kansas City. We could have won, but we didn't. And um, we just, we, we uh, really pitching and pitching defense and, and, uh, and the offense right now. None of it is really clicking. And, um, you know, it's not like we can say that we're we're pitching well and we're not hitting, or that we're hitting great and we're just not pitching. It's we're not doing either. Uh, we pitched well, like I say, in that middle game against Kansas City, but other than that, we're just not hitting on anywhere close to all cylinders yet. How does it feel having lost four straight to start the season? What do you think it feels like? I'm done with you guys.